Welcome back to the workshop, guys. I hope you uh, like the changes. By now you probably guessed it, but boy oh boy do I like me some LEDs. And yet there's a kind of LED that holds a special spot in my heart. The animated digital LED. They're just so cool and eye-catching, and it's almost like a cheat code, but the thing is, they're kind of inaccessible to the regular person. They require some programming skills, and just some people are into more simpler solutions. But what if I told you that I found a tool online that would let you build the animations on your screen visually, and then have it generate the code for you? No coding required of your own? Is your mind as blown as mine? I'm like actually upset right now because I wish I had this tool when I was starting out with LEDs. So if you ever wanted some animated LEDs in your proper costume but thought it's gonna be too challenging or bothersome, trust me, it's much simpler than you think. First, let's look at the LEDs. Inside each digital LED, there's a tiny microchip that controls what color or brightness the LEDs glow at. There are a few different versions of these LEDs with minor differences. The ones I use in this guide are based on WS2812B, just because they're so popular and cheap. They're also known as NeoPixels or by other names depending on who's selling them, but if they're based on the same chip, they're the same thing, so just search for that model to avoid overpaying. There are LED strips and they come in different densities. But they come in different shapes too, so they're very versatile. Personally, I love the ring ones, they come in different diameters and they're not flexible, but they're really useful. And to control the LEDs, we'll need a controller. Just like computers, there are many different kinds and they differ by shape, amount of memory, ports and features. In this guide I'll be using an Arduino Nano. Nanos are cheap, small and available anywhere. Another popular choice is a trinket. They're a bit more pricey and you can't just see what's running on them like on a Nano. It's not relevant for this video, but if you're buying one it might as well be something for your future projects too. Since this is an ultimate beginner's guide, we won't need much more than some LEDs and a controller to have it all working. Only a power bank to power it. I highly recommend power banks, especially for beginners. By using something that's already built, you'll save time and your project won't look as suspicious in an airport or getting checked by convention security. If you want to learn more about batteries and power requirements, check out my video on powering LEDs. Now let's connect our LEDs to our controller. Your Arduino most likely came with some pins, these fishbone looking things. I suggest you solder them in instead of soldering LEDs directly to the controller. If your soldering skills are a little bit rusty, I also made a video on that. Pins make it easier to reuse your Arduino or LEDs in a different project. Kinda like building blocks. NeoPixels have three connections. 5 volts, ground and data in. Pay attention to the labels and the direction. You must connect to the first LED of the row, not the last. I snip off some jumper wires and solder them to my strip. Color code them to avoid confusion. Connect a 5 volt wire to the 5 volt pin on the Arduino ground to ground, and data in to pin number 6. You can of course solder regular wires on, but with jumper wires it's easier to swap parts. Now plug it into your computer and install the Arduino software for your Mac or PC. You'll find it on their website. With it, we'll be able to interact with our Arduino. The awesome thing about NeoPixels is that there's so many people using them who put in the work so we don't have to. Let's download the NeoPixel library within the library manager. It will let our Arduino talk with LEDs. Let's check if our LEDs are connected properly. Open the strand test file from the examples. Now make sure you selected the right Arduino model, the processor, port and the programmer. It should look something like this. Now hit upload and wait for a second. Boom! Your Arduino is now running a quick demo of different animations it is capable of. Pretty cool, right? FastLED, NeoPixel and other libraries contain loads of animations that you can modify or use as is. You can find them in the library manager. Also, if you just google NeoPixel animations, you'll find a lot of amazing stuff already out there that you can download, use and modify, if you wish. Like, look at this one. I almost want to build a prop just to use it. No modification necessary. Now it's time to make something from scratch. But I did say no coding required in the beginning of the video. And I did mean it, but we'll need to use this awesome tool. There's a link for it in the video description. With this, we'll design our animation and the tool will generate the code for us. It even estimates the power requirements, how crazy is that? So here's how to use it. Hit add LED strip and then select it. On the left side, specify the amount of LEDs you're using and set the pin to 6. Now let's build our first animation by hitting add effect, rainbow. 
It's pretty cool, but we already saw a color crossfade like this on our strand test, so let's customize it a bit. I spent a lot of time learning how to do the color fading on my Doomfist gauntlet manually. Let's see if I can recreate it with this tool. On the left side, I hit animation and then set the quantity of LEDs to 1. This will make the entire strip animate as 1. Now in the colors tab, I want to keep the red, but I want it to pulse hot orange, just like my Doomfist. Mm, this looks about right. I don't need the blue, so I just delete it. Now hit the generate Arduino code and copy code. Paste it into your Arduino software and then hit upload. And here's your first custom animation in real life. God, I remember spending days on getting something similar a couple of years back. And there's so many different options and possibilities, like having an entire chain of animations one after another, different saturation, fading and all that. Just don't be afraid to play around. With this tool and all the animations you can find online, you can definitely get the look you're going for without writing a single line of code. And to make your project portable, connect it to your power bank. You can scale it up or scale it down. If you have some questions, check out the NeoPixel Uber guide on Adafruit. It will explain pretty much everything that I might have left out here. So, how cool was that, huh? Now, I know you won't be able to do everything, everything with what I showed you today, but honestly, that wasn't the goal. If I inspired some confidence in yourself to try something that you've never tried before, I think we both succeeded today, so good job. I will be uploading some more advanced guides and other videos similar to this, so if you like this sort of content, you know, messing around in the workshop but still learning a thing or two, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it, it would mean a lot to me, so thank you for that. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next one.